But why do you think so many people think that we're together? <laughs> I have a theory. I, I think it's one, visually, we complement each other. Um, we've gone into stores before, we, we just seem really comfortable in each other's skin. I think you are comfortable in who you are, I'm comfortable in who I am. <laughs> and when we're around each like other, it sounded really sexual. Talking. But when we're around each other, there is this, compa not compatibility, what's the word I wanna, I wanna use? We compliment each other, we do. I think that we're not competing with each other. That's the word I was looking for. I knew it okay. was a C word. There's no competition. I don't feel threatened by you. I don't think you feel threatened by me. And I think that when two people complement each other without any sort of, 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 of undercurrent tension or passive aggressive energy, like we fully can be our authentic selves with no like angst or fear or, or, or hesitation. I think because a lot of us don't see that, when they do see it with us, it's like, oh, they must be together. Claire. Why do you think so few of us are able to get there? Because I will say that I haven't come this way before. I've had yeah, really close I... friends um, or family, but I've never been seen. Mm -hmm. Like, why do you think our culture doesn't create a space for us to see each other. Well, I think we are conditioned to be in competition. We're always trying to... Who is the we you're talking about? Black gay men specifically. Mm -hmm. um, granted, all gay men, but specifically in this particular conversation, I mean shades of brown. I think that we are conditioned to always be in a never-ending competition of acceptance. Um, a never-ending competition around surrender and validation seeking. And I think that for a lot of us, we, before I make that statement, those of us who are not raised in affirming households and families and, 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 and environments, we have this inherent, I need to prove something ideology. Mm -hmm. We need to prove the validity of who we are and that manifests in our academic achievements, it manifests in the type of jobs we seek, it manifests in the type of social networks we desire access to, um, the way we dress, where we live, um, how we express. All of those things can be reduced down to a simple fact of, of, of a need for acceptance. And so when we talk about what it means to live comfortably, to live unapologetically, there are very few of us that really do that.